Hello lovely mamas, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here because it means you're ready to work. So let's not even dilly dally. Let's just not dilly or dally. Let's just do it. <laughs> but first, a disclaimer. If you're not 100% confident that you can do this without harming your children, do not do it. Obviously, if you're not confident that you can safely put your child on your shoulders, don't do it. Hold them in your arms. You'll, you'll get a simultaneous workout for your upper body, so that'll be lit as well. So just do what you're comfortable with, and obviously your child's safety is much more important than these gains, so put your child's safety first at all times during this workout. Without further ado, let's get it. Ah. You ready to do a workout with mama? Okay, everything looks good. All right, ladies, let's get to work. The first exercise is squats. To focus your efforts on your booty cheeks, you wanna turn your toes slightly outwards and push straight up through your heels. And don't forget to squeeze those cheeks at the top, sister, because you know, we all want that bubble butt. And exercise number two is lunges. You'll want to, just like with squats, push straight up through your heel and squeeze your cheeks. Focus, get that mind to muscle connection because that is everything. So go slower if you have to, go faster if you need a pulsing movement. I did that here. Do what you gotta do to get those glutes fired up. I like to call these beautiful things one half squats. I don't know if they have a technical name, but these are most effective when using a high resistance band around your knees. But most importantly, make sure you are tucking your tailbone under at the top of the movement and squeezing your cheeks at all times during the movement to fire them up and say, hello, wake up. Hello, grow, hello. I would like to call these starfish because it's more fun for the kids, but really it's just a sideline hip abduction and these look easy, but I promise you they will challenge you and really make you sore. So do this and make sure when you're at the bottom of the movement, you're practically putting your hip all the way touching the ground to get the full range of motion. So this can be confusing for kids. You'll want to instruct them to sit in the crook of your knee. And I discovered after doing this, it's much easier if I basically strap on some reins and saddle up and make it quite a bit easier for your children to yeehaw if you put something around your waist. So I put two bands around my waist okay. after so this. See, so right there, keep a little bit more safe. safe. And so she wouldn't fall off. She had something to hold on to and it made it much, much easier. Tell them to wrap their ankles tight around your wrap leg your around and you should be good. Obviously, if you have small babies, this isn't good really an option. Girl. So I don't know what better? to tell you. I don't know. You could put them in the car seat <laughs> and like lift them. <laughs> I don't know. It's not possible. Sorry. <laughs> exercise <laughs> is a glute bridge and the most important piece of advice I can give you for this is to tuck your chin in elevate your shoulders tuck your chin in and don't lead with your rib cage lead with your pelvis and get a little posterior posterior pelvic tilt going on squeeze your cheeks at the top and it's also helpful to turn your feet out on this exercise as well i was on a slippery carpet so i recommend getting something that helps you not slip
the starfish. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I love new friends, especially mom friends. All right, we'll talk very, very soon. Peace. See you later, alligators. Cut.